So in order to obtain a high quality stereoscopic view of the fundus, you can perform slit lamp bio with a high plus condensing lens. In order to perform this, your observation and illumination system should be aligned and magnification should be low at 10 times. You should focus on the surface of the cornea and you can see the tear film move when the patient blinks. That's a good indicator that you're in the correct position. You would then introduce your high plus condensing lens between 5 and 11 millimetres from the front surface of the cornea. Pull back using the slit lamp joystick and you will see the scratches on the lens come into focus. Pull back again and you'll see an out of focus orange band which is the fundus. Pull back slightly further and you will get the fundus suddenly coming into focus. Make sure you don't pull back too quickly or you may miss the fundus altogether. So when you have the fundus in focus Make sure that you're able to locate the anatomical structures of the fundus. So here we have the optic disc and temporal to the optic disc in the eye, you also have the macula. Now because the image of the Volk lens is inverted and laterally reversed, you'll have to move nasally with the lens in order to locate the macula. But in real terms, the macula is temporal from the optic disc. So you must scan across using the joystick to see the entire posterior pole. And then to see the mid periphery and the peripheral retina, you must ask the patient to move their eye in the eight cardinal gaze directions. So if you ask the patient to look up and you're also tilting the lens upwards, this allows you to see the superior retina. So after you have evaluated the posterior pole, you then need to look at the mid periphery and the peripheral retina. So you have to ask the patient to look in the direction that you want to be looking in terms of the retina. So in order to look at the superior retina, you'll ask the patient to look up and you will also tilt the condensing lens upwards. Because the condensing lens inverts and reverses the image, you're actually looking through the inferior portion of the lens itself in order to view the superior retina. And so it continues for the other eight cardinal gaze directions.